Hey guys, it's Mel from FabVice and this is Mel's Minute Makeovers and today we'll be doing contouring on your face. Much like mine already, I deleted the video where I was actually showing y'all how to do it so what I'm going to do is go over what I've already done to show you how to do it. And now what we want to do, a little tip, if you're lighter skinned and it's not really showing the highlights because I found that I spent a lot of money on a, on a contouring kit and it did not show up on my skin which made me a little bit upset but then I figured out that if you put a concealer underneath your eye like so and then right here in a V pattern the highlights will actually show up on my skin which is really exciting because I was very sad about purchasing something that cost so much money and it not working so you want to put it right here as well so what you have is the highlighted portion. You can also put it along your jaw right here to highlight. And I'm putting it on top of contouring, so oh, I'll show you how to do it. And you're going to blend in. And what I like to do also is, I use my fingers a lot because I'm a mom and I don't really see a problem with that. But <laughs> what you want to do is you can also use a beauty blender, which you can purchase at any store like Walmart or beauty supply store or makeup store and I just pat it in underneath the eye like so pat up the nose I want to make that long skin a nose and then right along here and here as well and you want to do your foundation first make sure you lotion then do your foundation and then you're going to start the contouring on top of powder so what we're going to do next is take a blush brush that is pinched together and you can either do buy this this way which it's a little thinner and it helps contour or you can take a blush brush that's already pretty big I'll take this one it's kind of small but you pinch it together and then you can hold it and do it so you don't have to buy a whole new brush if you have a big blush brush like you can just pinch it together so what I use is a contour set and what it comes with is three different types of highlights and then three different types of contour the highlights range in color one's a little more yellow tone one's a little bit more peach and then the one is super shiny and it gives a little bit of a glow so what we have here are the contour palette on the bottom so what I do is use the middle part and I put it on the tip of the brush right here where it is flattened and sometimes I like to do it anyways even though it's already like that and you want to go across your cheekbones working your way you can kind of see where you want it to be indented in your face to make it look like you have really good cheekbones like models then you're going to take it across your nose and if you want to use which I do sometimes a little bit thinner of a brush you take it from here to here, then up again, and then you're going to round around your nose to give that good shape, and then across right here as well, like so. And then I like to take that one little tiny blush brush that I showed you earlier, blend it. This brain's calling me. <laughs> and then you can also if you have a big forehead which I do take the blush brush and put it across your forehead like this with the first contour one that I used the middle one you don't want to use too much you want to lightly dust it on there you don't want to look like you just drew around your face across the chin area helps eliminate the double chin look once again you don't want it very dark because somebody's going to be like you have a brown line around your chin why do you have it that way so you want to blend that in okay and then we go into the highlighting portion and you just take the highlighting part and I like to blend the yellow and the peach together because it gets a really nice color because I've seen people that just do yellow and in pictures it'll show up yellow and it'll look really bad and you want to just go ahead and tap that on with the concealer brush in the V pattern and 
and then you can use the very tip to do your nose and then up between your eyes over here a little bit right here I'm going to put a little bit right here so it really helps define that middle section okay and then you want to go ahead and use the very shimmery one right here you're going to put it on top of your cheekbones right along right here and got a shimmery thing going if you want more defined cheekbones what you can do is you can go in with your blush brush and actually go to the darker shade and what I do is I just put a little bit on there I kind of tilt it to the side a little bit too so it's not as full you'll see like a little bit on this side but not on this side and you're just gonna lightly don't put it for the full length you want to put it right here and then right here just kind of where your sideburns are just almost as big as the brush because what it's going to do is it's going to look like your cheekbones go in right here you don't want to extend it all the way because it's going to look weird so I like to dust off the brush and then blend it up you want to blend it up because you don't want to blend it down because it's not going to really contour very well if you have brown all the way down on the side of your face so you want to make sure you stay kind of in that zone and I like to blend up like that and there you have it contour your face thank you please subscribe to our youtube channel